So on March 9th, I get on Facebook and I see a Facebook post from one of my friends from high school announcing that her husband, who I didn't know, uh, had been added to the kidney transplant list and needed a kidney. And I was like, here it is. Here's the thing I'm going to do. Like, this is so perfect. Like, what a great opportunity. It's kind of rare that somebody saves your life and then you have the ability to save theirs. Right? They ask, ask you, hey, can you donate a kidney? I donated my kidney in 2018. And I was going through these emotions like that was really amazing and transformational. But am I ever gonna be able to do anything in this life to top kidney donation? My process itself could really not have been any easier. Um, you know, people have said, well, you're a hero. I'm not a hero. Honestly, the real heroes are the, the people who facilitate um, donation. It, 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 it's almost indescribable. It feels, it feels just so wonderful. And again, it's raised my spirituality uh, in a way that I would have never imagined. And what's so interesting about it is I, I, I know a lot of people in the kidney donor community. I've never met one of them that regrets their decision. Never one. I, I just had the best experience. The, the whole thing, the whole thing was just, was just amazing. Uh, and I came across a post from an old high school baseball friend. And he, on this post, he was having, showing pictures of his daughter, who was then a junior in high school. She had just received a new kidney, which was a life-saving operation for her. And I, I, I got emotional, I broke down. I said, that is absolutely phenomenal that, that you can, you can do this and save a person's life uh, and really at no change to your own life. Uh, so I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. Uh, and just it's one of those things that you hear like, that's a really, like maybe I could do something like that. You know, I think a lot of people, me included, think, oh, well, you're on dialysis. You know, all you're doing is just filtering your blood and the life goes on. That's basically just keeping people alive. Um, their lives change to the point where um, they're very much um, not capable of living a normal life. So this was kind of a, it was a no brainer and it was an easy surgery. And Dan, I tell everyone Dan was at 14% kidney function on the day of surgery. And 48 hours later, he was at 87% percent kidney fun. like that's incredible so <laughs> me i mean it's a simple surgery and now you know you can change the complete outcome of somebody's life it doesn't get better than that i was 53 at the time it was inserted into a 53 year old woman at the time uh, and yeah that's uh it's a wonderful feeling to know that maybe her kids are going to get to spend another 15 or 20 years with her uh, and it's not going to change any of the time i'm going to be able to spend with my wife or my children um, you know, that was the, the real powerful part was, you know, being able to get up and walk down the hallway the day after a major surgery and then see, you know, your best friend there. And he definitely looked much better because when you go through uh, chronic kidney disease, you know, your, your face turns different colors and that type of thing. Um, it was really great to see him and the hope that we all had. We, you know, walk into that room and, uh, and there we are, uh, you know, taking that walk together down the hallway. Um, you ask 80% of people on the street and they think uh, a living donation is, is really, it's bad. I mean, it, it changes your life and there's a lot of recovery and, and um, you know, you could die and so on and so forth. And that's really just the farthest from the truth. So I, at the six week mark, I went back to running and doing all the things. And I think I've done a half marathon, a triathlon. Uh, yeah, so uh, endurance wise, there's been no change at all. And then of course, like everybody always asks about the restrictions. So the only change I have is I can't take NSAID pain relievers, which I didn't really take anyway. So that's the only change. The body lives just fine on 25% of kidney function. So you only need a quarter, I'm sorry, a half of one kidney. So one kidney is, is twice as much as you really need. It's an amazing organ. The human body's amazing in general. So 
Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, once again, it's just all part of awareness and advocacy. Um, that's Those are pieces of information that most people aren't aware of. So yeah, and, and again, the most important thing is there's no change to your own life and people don't realize that. That's one of the main, I think the main inhibitors of people, you know, even considering donation, that they don't realize you live a perfectly normal, 100% same life with one kidney as you do with two. At all stages along the way, we're here. Um, everyone is, is absolutely willing. We've all been through it, those of us who have donated. So um, if you're thinking about it, take advantage of all those uh, supportive uh, opportunities within any support group, whether it's KDA or, or there's a whole bunch of them out there. If you're interested in it, you have questions about it, reach out to somebody who has been a living donor. We all love talking about it, <laughs> literally. Kidney donation. I, I feel like is a little bit of a gateway into other things. You know, you do kidney, do a kidney donation, and then you want to know, well, what else can I donate? Because it really is life changing. There's no doubt about. I mean, I, I consider some very good friends, some I've never met before, only on Zoom. But we have that common bond of having donated a kidney. I look so forward to climbing Killy and to just be with these people for a couple of weeks uh, you know, in person. It'd be wonderful. Um, that's going to be that's going to be the top of the mountain type of stuff. Now, being up on top of the mountain, you know, that will be the accomplishment. The whole uh, being together and uh, accomplishing a shared goal, a shared dream together. Um, that'll be the an exciting part for sure. But uh, the journey along the way is going to be the the powerful part for me. There's a couple of groups. So National Kidney Donation Organization, it's called NKDO, is a group of mentors. We're all living kidney donors. And really one of our primary purposes is to mentor people who are considering donation. There's been a handful who literally have gotten back to me and said, you know what? I went and gave blood. I gave plasma. Um, I, I donated my time. I did something. So that has been something that I didn't expect. Um, that definitely is a ripple. And I've had a, two people who have come to me and said, I am now interested in being a living donor. And they are in the very beginning processes of looking into that. So if I can create through my awareness that somebody else saves other lives, wow. I mean, that's just wasn't the intent but um, as you mentioned, that's an amazing ripple effect. Really the, the best or most powerful part of it that you've given away a body part here with minimal inconvenience, no change to your life, and you know you've been able to save one life, perhaps others through a kidney chain, and impact so many others because of the person you donated to, you know, how they impact other people's lives. So what I hope people take away is an awareness that it's not gonna change your life at all. It's two weeks of inconvenience for you, uh, but there, there never really is a, is a notable change that you'll ever you know, be able to see. So that's, that's one thing I'd like to take, you know, people to take away from it. Uh, another thing is that you know, it's, it just creates for the rest of your life an appreciation that you've been able to change somebody's life in ways that, that your time never could, your money never could. That there's something bigger that will come out of this and I already take a look at the fact that um, my friend Amy heard my story. She went and donated a kidney, her kidney, to a stranger who, um, you know, a woman, a mother of three out of Colorado Springs, who is now living a uh, normal life, no longer on dialysis, and has a kidney that is functioning great for her. Um, so that downstream story there, you know, just still sits in a great way with me.